On January 5, 2024, an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 operated flight AS-1282 from Portland International Airport to Ontario International Airport. While the flight started without any issues, the flight, the aircraft type, and once again Boeing were quickly thrown into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons, as the aircraft's door plug suddenly separated from the fuselage. The 737 MAX 9's peak altitude was 16,300 feet or 4,968 meters. The fact that all passengers still had their seatbelts on for the climb contributed to the fact that the incident did not result in any fatalities. Additionally, or perhaps miraculously, no passengers were sitting in the row where the door plug was located. Alaska Airlines and United Airlines, the only two carriers in the US to operate the 737 MAX 9, grounded their fleets for inspections. Making it even more official, the Federal Aviation Administration also ordered all airlines operating 737 MAX 9s in US territory to be inspected. But why are door plugs even a thing? And is it a feature specific to Boeing? This is something we'll look at for today's video. The FAA has mandated that an aircraft operated by an airline under a Part 121 certificate ensures an evacuation of under 90 seconds during an emergency. This certificate encompasses all commercial passenger carriers in the United States. In October 1967, the FAA established the rule for manufacturers to demonstrate an evacuation of under 90 seconds for an aircraft that was configured to carry over 44 passengers. This 90-second rule was applied to all Part 121 airlines. As the FAA states on its website, it was considered that the manufacturer's demonstration would show the basic capability of a new airplane and, as before, the Part 121 demonstration was intended to account for crew training and adequate crew procedures. Thus, each new aircraft type or a derivative of an existing aircraft, which could affect its emergency evacuation capabilities, must be evaluated by either a full-scale demonstration or a combination of tests and analysis. The FAA pointed out a list of design changes that would require a re-evaluation of evacuation suitability. A change in type, number or location of exits. An increase in passenger capacity that is higher than on its type certificate data sheet. Changes in passenger distribution throughout the cabin and changes to flight attendant seating positions. As a result, due to the increased capacity of some variants, plugs or mid-exit doors are located between the overwing and aft exit doors. The Boeing 737 MAX 9 is one example of this. All of this depends on how many seats airlines have configured for their aircraft, which we'll explain a little later. This existence of door plugs is somewhat the result of mass production and manufacturing. After all, it's conceivable that the manufacturer could just make one version with no extra door and another with an extra door. Doing so, however, would deny airlines without that extra set of doors the flexibility to increase their seating configurations. Thus, the fuselage is made with the cutout for a door and thus affords airlines the option to spend the extra money configuring that space with a proper emergency exit if required by aviation regulations. Of course, if a passenger configuration is lower and does not require a proper emergency exit, then that cutout can be plugged and configured on the inside to be a regular window section. The presence of a cutout for a door simply gives airlines that flexibility to reconfigure their aircraft for higher configurations in the future. In the case of Boeing jets, Spirit Aerosystems ships fuselages to Boeing with door plugs, quote, fitted but not completed. This allows Boeing to remove the plug and use the hole in the side to access the cabin of the plane in order to install interior components. With the fuselage completely under Boeing's care prior to delivery, workers would then be responsible for refitting and securing the door plug. Using our prime example of Alaska Airlines, the carrier's Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft seats 178 passengers. 
As a result, the airline's MAX 9s do not have mid-exit doors and instead utilize door plugs on both sides of the fuselage. As highlighted by the air current, regulations are set so that 737 MAX 9s with no more than 189 seats aboard the aircraft do not need the extra set of doors. It's not just Alaska, of course. United Airlines 737 MAX 9s accommodate 179 travelers, while Aero Mexico's jets are fitted with 181 seats. None of these configurations require that extra set of emergency exit doors and thus have door plugs. Panama's Copa Airlines, Fly Dubai, Iceland Air and all Turkish Airlines MAX 9s also utilize door plugs. On the other side, there are high-density configurations of the 737 MAX 9 which require that mid-exit door. Lion Air is one example. The low-cost carrier's 737 MAX 9s seat 220 passengers and thus have that extra pair of exits. Scat Airlines jets have this as well, since its MAX 9s are configured for 213 travelers in an all-economy configuration. While the issue of door plugs is justifiably linked to Boeing 737 MAX 9s at the moment, it's worth noting that other aircraft have similar setups. This includes the Airbus A321neo with cabin flex interiors, as well as the older generation Boeing 737-900ER. Airbus delivered the first A321neo in the cabin flex configuration in July 2018. Saab, the supplier of door plug for the A321neo, handed over its first unit to the European plane maker in November 2017. Since the door plug from the inside looks like any other window seat section, it can only be opened during maintenance. The plug opens outward for maintenance personnel to access deeper areas of the aircraft. With all of this in mind, it looks quite likely that workers at Boeing facilities did not properly install the door plug to be fully secure. It would also appear that any improper work was missed by quality control personnel. The fallout from the January 5th incident has been swift, with airlines and regulators scrambling to reassure the traveling public that aircraft, especially Boeing jets with door plugs, are safe to fly. The FAA has already announced that it will immediately increase its oversight of Boeing's production and manufacturing facilities. The regulator said it would audit the 737 MAX 9 production line and its suppliers, evaluating the manufacturer's compliance with its approved quality procedures. Mike Whitaker, the FAA's administrator, said it was time to, quote, re-examine the delegation of authority and assess any associated safety risks. Whitaker also added that the grounding of the 737 MAX 9 and the multiple production issues of the 737 MAX over the past few years forced the regulator to look at every option to reduce safety-related risks, concluding that the FAA is actively exploring additional options to ensure Boeing's quality system is up to the task that it was mandated to do. Alaska Airlines has also said that it would increase its oversight of Boeing, ensuring that no quality control lapses happen in the future. The airline stated that its quality and audit team has already begun reviewing Boeing's production quality and control systems to prepare enhanced processes for its own quality control over aircraft at Boeing. On the manufacturer's side, Boeing said that it would conduct more inspections during the manufacturing processes both at its own facilities and at Spirit Aerosystems. Did you know about door plugs before January 5th and the events of Flight AS-1282? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.